Hello friends, welcome to another episode of our US series. This time, please join us to explore the amazing city of Los Angeles. During our memorable time in Los Angeles, we visited the Griffith Observatory on the hilltop and from the hilltop, we enjoyed the breathtaking view of the Los Angeles skyline and the downtown skyscrapers and also the extraordinary, remarkable sign, the Hollywood sign that is always a iconic representation of Los Angeles. We could see that Hollywood sign from the Griffith Observatory. It was just fascinating. Later that day, we drove around LA with our friend Arnav. We went to Beverly Hills and we drove around Beverly Hills to watch these magnificent houses where the Hollywood film stars live. Our adventure in LA continued down the rodeo drive, a world of exclusive shopping extravaganza probably where all the films should come for shopping. At the end of the day, we went to Santa Monica, one of the famous beaches in LA. It was fascinating. It was really broad beach and the pier was just extraordinary. There was live music, live Western music. Overall, we had a very good time, very memorable time in LA. Hope you'll enjoy this experience. The Hollywood sign is one of the most famous signs in the world. It's high up in the hill of Los Angeles, California. The sign says Hollywood in big white letters. People from all over the world come to see it. It's a symbol of the movie industry and the city of dreams. The sign is on the mountain called Mount Lee and it's been around for almost 100 years. The Griffith Observatory is a cool place in Los Angeles. It's like a big science museum with a fantastic view. You can learn about space and stars there. Lots of movies and TV shows use this place because it has an amazing look. It's on top of a mountain called Mount Hollywood. People can look through the telescope and see the moon and planets. When we were on top of Mount Hollywood and looking at the view of downtown Los Angeles, it was time to experience a profound sense of wonder and amazement. The city sprawls out beneath us, with its towering skyscrapers at the distance, creating a captivating scene. It's a breathtaking sight that truly captures the essence of Los Angeles. From Griffith Observatory, we can spot the iconic Hollywood sign. As you gaze out from the observatory, you will see the famous sign nestled in the distant hill. Best part is, you know, go there for free and have a great time. Next, we went to Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills is a fancy and famous neighborhood in Los Angeles. It's known for its big, beautiful houses, palm-lined street. People who live there are often rich and famous and film stars. We had a stop at the Spadina House. Spadina House, also known as the Witch's House, is a whimsical and enchanting building in Beverly Hills. Its crooked walls, pointy roof and magical design. It looks like something out of a fairy tale. Many people believe it's the home of a friendly witch. This unique house brings a touch of fantasy to the posh street of Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills is like a glamorous movie set right in the heart of LA, making you feel like a star for a day. In Beverly Hills, you can go shopping on Rodeo Drive, where there are expensive stores with designer clothes and fancy jewelry.
Although we didn't enter but we visited Dolby Theatre and the Hollywood Walk of Fame. The Dolby Theatre is a famous place in Hollywood where they have big events like Oscar, of course which is a big movie award show. It's a grand and fancy theatre where actors and filmmakers come to celebrate their work. The Dolby Theatre is like the heart of entertainment world in Hollywood, where the dreams come to life. The Hollywood Walk of Fame is famous sidewalk in Hollywood filled with stars. Not the one on the sky, but shiny stars with names of famous actors, musicians and other famous people. It's like a big glittery pathway on the ground. People can walk along and see the stars with name of their favorite celebrities. It's a way to honor and remember the people who done great things in movies, music and more. I took a picture with Jimmy Stewart because probably I was still hanging with the Vartigo theme from San Francisco, while Ornima's favorite were George Clooney and Matt Damon. The Californian Science Center in LA is a super cool place where you can learn about science in a very funny way. It's like a big playground for your brain. Inside there are exhibits like space, animal and all kind of interesting stuff. But the most exciting thing is the space shuttle Endeavour. It's a real spaceship that went into space and you can see it up close. There are a lot of documentaries that are running on the TVs and there are some notes and different displays and explanations about the structure of the Endeavour. We're always excited about the space missions, space shuttles and NASA in general. And watching at the space shuttle endeavor, the historic endeavor, up close was a beautiful moment. At the end of the day, we went to Santa Monica. Santa Monica is a beautiful beach city in Los Angeles County. It's known for its wide sandy beaches, a famous pier with a big wheel, a laid back and relaxed vibe. People come here to swim, surf and just enjoy the sun. She's a good -hearted woman in love with a girl. We had a couple of hours at Santa Monica, so obviously we didn't go for swim, but we enjoyed the sun. We had a great view of the ocean. It was an amazing time. It was late afternoon. We stroll along the Santa Monica pier. There were some western music performers performing on the pier. We enjoyed the music and the vibe. This world has its I think Santa Monica is a great place to have fun by the sea and soak up the Californian sunshine. So friends, this was our highlights of Los Angeles. We had a couple of days to explore LA. One day we kept exploring the city and other day for the famous Universal Studio. So please don't miss our next video which will be the last video of this series. We will take you through the Universal Studio and the stunt actions. Thanks for watching our travel videos.